This is Colin O'Keefe for LXBN TV. As we continue our coverage of Advocating 2012, I'm here with Mark Britton, co-founder and CEO of AVO. Mark, you, you just came out of your speech on uh, just legal marketing, legal marketing strategy. Starting off, how do lawyers and law firms go about targeting an audience and then once they do, marketing to them and really engaging them? I think for any law firm, the first thing that they need to realize is there's a target audience that is definable and that they can carve into segments potentially so that they can target them better. And so that's one of the things that I just talked about is just first and foremost, um, understanding that there is an audience out there that you have to have an ear for and that you need to speak to them on their level. So if you have a consumer-based practice, you really shouldn't sound too much like a lawyer. And then in getting uh, to them, being at those places where they spend the most time, whether it's online or, or if you're buying a billboard where they're driving on the highway, whatever it is, online or offline, you need to come up with those things that um, uh, give you a sense that of where they are. So I talked about segmentation. To the extent that you can narrow down the real practical areas of your practice so that you're very precise in targeting not just the small business, but maybe it's in the textile industry or it tends to be in certain metropolitan areas. Whatever it is, if you can narrow it down, you can be much more tactical in your marketing. But I also talked about competition and what drives the most revenue and what's important to you. All of those are really important pieces of defining the market that you're pursuing. Mm -hmm. And what do you see as some of the up and coming tools for legal marketers and lawyers in terms of targeting clients and, and enhancing their client development efforts? What are things that, that people should really focus on now? Well, I don't think it's any surprise that I would say social media. I mean, I'm constantly going around the country talking about social media because it's just such an amazing tool for getting in front of that target audience. So social media, we're seeing a massive shift in mobile. Um, just mobile is in the same way that things went from offline to online, it's moving from the PC to mobile. So to the extent that anyone has any sort of online presence and they're not thinking about how that presence is perceived on mobile, they're, they're really sub-optimizing. And then finally video. Video is that it's that piece of the pie that many lawyers hesitate to bite into. And it's just, they're like, ah, I don't like being on camera. But most lawyers are so presentable and so well-spoken that if they can get good at projecting themselves on camera, it actually can help them significantly. I mean, on a websites on average, if they have video, they'll get 20% more visits on average monthly than sites without video. And so just a really, really important component to speaking to that target audience and even your existing client base. Mm -hmm. And lastly, people are always worried about, should I look at the visits to my website? What, what should yes. I really be focusing on in terms of measuring the effectiveness of my online client development efforts? What should people really look at as true measures of value in their, in their strategies? Well, the first thing that they need to do is figure out which channels are most important to them. So set some objectives around different channels and say, my target audience is here and I would like to get X amount of business out of that channel and then measure against that to see if that channel is meeting your expectations. So which is the most important? Well, first and foremost, you gotta build a core web presence, right? And I don't care if that's a blog or an Avo website or an Avo uh, profile or your own website, whatever it is, you need to have all of your different marketing channels ultimately point into that core, and then that core should have some sort of analytics back end that helps you understand where stuff's coming from, how many are coming, how many pages they're turning, what content they find most interesting. And so a great tool, Google Analytics, a free tool that is a little complex for some lawyers, but surely something that a consultant can help you get put on, installed into a website or whatever your core is, so that you can track everyone who's coming in, what they're doing on your site, and give you a better sense for which marketing channels are working best for your practice. Exactly, exactly. I think it's something to really watch, especially the tools that you mentioned. It's it's always interesting to see how lawyers adapt. You know, I mentioned this in the previous interview with Richard Barton. Sometimes lawyers are a little bit slower, but I think now we're starting to see where they're really catching up and really putting a lot of effort into their client development strategy that go online. Once again, that was Mark Britton, CEO and co-founder of AVO. We're here at Advocating 2012. Uh, be sure for more video interviews with advocating presenters, exhibitors, attendees, be sure to check out lxpn.lexblog.com. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Colin.